Good morning, happy Monday. Um, <clears throat> I am so tired, y'all. I did not sleep good last night. I don't know what is wrong with me. I took a nap yesterday evening, I guess at like six o'clock, but I only slept for like an hour. And then I got up and did some things around my apartment and then I was watching Orange is the New Black and it was like 11.30 and I was wide awake. So I turned the TV off and I laid in the bed and tried to go to sleep. Finally I fell asleep at like, I guess, I don't know, before midnight. And then I got up at like 1.30 and was starving to death. So I went in the kitchen and got me a snack. Then I went back to sleep and woke up at 4 and I wasn't awake very long, maybe like 10 minutes. I think I got up and went to the bathroom and then uh, fell back asleep and got up at 5.30. So I am on the struggle bus this morning and it's Monday, my least favorite day of the week. But I'm here and good news is I got my flexible seating yesterday. It came to my mom's house, so I went over there and my mom and dad and my sister helped me um, blow up the stability balls and I took everything out of the boxes. Only thing is I'm missing my rocker seats. I don't think they're supposed to come in until tomorrow. So they are all in my car. Um, I haven't brought them in yet because I wanna go over with my kids like do's and don'ts and what my expectations are so I may do that this morning for my morning meeting and then maybe bring some of them in today I don't know if I'm gonna wait till I get the rocker seats or not but but it is 720 so I'm gonna jump off here and get my stuff and myself prepared for the day and I will check back in with y'all later Next one. What time do I? What will I do in March? Go on vacation. Wake up. Eat breakfast. Fresh one. Go look. on. What year did I learn to ride my bike? 1990. Well, if it's the answer, it says, What will it I says, eat? What will I eat after pizza? Where's pizza? Over here. Okay, what's after that? Tacos. Tacos. Yes. So it's not chicken. So over here. On the next page, what will happen after I mean, uh, Watch your S's, Hazel. You got one in each word. I don't know if you guys use flexible seating in your classroom, but if you do and you have these stools, what do you think about them? Because I feel like they're really cheap like the legs i'm afraid if my kids bend or lean back it's gonna bend the legs on them so just let me know what experience you've had with those if you've had any because this is the first day and i'm kind of worried they're not going to last very long unfortunately so Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you have used these stools and any experience you've had with them because like I said, I'm afraid if my kids lean back, which they shouldn't be doing anyways, but you know, kids do that, um, I'm afraid they're going to break. So let me know. Also, I am sorting math pages as you can see here. Um, we are starting a new unit today on measurement, so we are going to be measuring different jumps. We're going to do a frog jump a rabbit jump and a kid jump. And they're going to use their feet, like walking, their feet to measure, popsicle sticks, and I have a hair, 
and paper clips to measure. So we're gonna do that for math this afternoon. My kids are at music and I've got 30 minutes to get some things done. I'm going to try to go ahead and get some stuff ready for next week because I'm planned for this week and it feels really good to be planned and ready. So I might, if I have time, work on that a little bit. Plus I need to check my emails. Uh, All right, she needs some help. Good. Okay, now where's your adding machine tape? You gotta get the tape off, remember? Good. I love the way you're working together. That is awesome. This one. Okay. I, I don't know where the scissors are. Well, whose are those? Okay, now what's she need to write on there? What kind of jump was that? Um, a frog jump. Frog jump, and then your name. Did you walk it? With your feet? That's how long her frog jump was. That's a long jump. Yeah. See? Now write your name and your frog jump on there. I let her sit on my seat so she wanted to. Okay. So I wanted to show you guys how I organized their uh, math for this afternoon. So I gave them each a basket. And in the basket, I put three Ziploc bags, and that was for their jumps. So they were to write their name on the bag, and then once they did their jump and wrote their jump name and their name on the jump, they put it in the bag. I also had their pages in here that they're supposed to do. So they were doing the three different jumps and then measuring with three different units. So they had their measuring tape in here and paper clips in there. The craft sticks I have in a separate box. So I told them whenever they, you know, they were ready to do the craft sticks, then they could get the box of craft sticks. So I had six groups of three. I put them three in a group and then I have a group here that wasn't here today and that's gonna be a group of two. So I'm gonna put those two girls together when they come back tomorrow. But we had a pretty good afternoon. I am very surprised at how well it went. They had a little bit of trouble getting started. I guess it was kind of overwhelming, but I kind of walked around and monitored and you know, helped a little bit and made sure they were on task and it seemed to go really well. So tomorrow we're gonna finish our jumps. I don't think any group got all three jumps measured and cut so we'll do that first and then i will let them measure with the paper clips and the craft sticks so it went really well i'm super excited about the participation that they had today and yeah so i'm gonna put these baskets on my bookshelf so that they will be ready for them tomorrow and i am going to look over my plans clean off my counter a little bit. As you can see, it's a terrible mess. It's always messy at the end of the day. And then head on out. So I'm gonna get some work done and I'll see you guys very soon. I had them put their flexible seating up on their desks today because I didn't know how else to do it and the janitors have to vacuum. So if you guys have any suggestions for how to store the uh, stools won't be too hard to store because you can just stack those, but I don't know what to do about those balls. I've got six of them. So, I don't know. It went pretty well today. I guess the initial shock. I guess the initial shock of not sitting in a chair and sitting on a ball or a stool um, made them a little crazy this morning. But once the day went on, they were pretty good. They were bouncing around on them. I've got two or so that I need to pump up some more. So I might run out to my car and get that pump and do that. But it's 10 minutes till three and I'm gonna get some stuff done because I don't wanna be here late today. 
I just got finished getting ready for tomorrow. I graded some papers. I cleaned off my counter. Look how nice and clean it is. I organized some things and I had a bunch of random papers that needed a home. So I found them a home in my file cabinet or I made them a home. And I packed up my backpack and I think I'm ready. Oh, and I had some books that I got from the library. Like every so often she discards a bunch of older books. So I had about 10 or so hardback books that I went online and found reading levels for and put them over with my books. So my kids have some new books to read. And that's it. Oh, and I straightened up a bunch. So I am getting ready to head out. I packed my backpack up. I don't have any papers to take home to grade, which is A plus in my book. And I laid out morning work. My kids worked on the Ruby Bridges character trait sheet today. We started it on Friday. And then today they worked on it um, with their table groups because they had four words and they needed to get four more. So when they come in in the morning, they're gonna work on finishing up their pictures and coloring them. But as for me, I am gonna head on out of here. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video today. I hope that you had a great Monday. Mondays are really hard for me and I didn't get a lot of sleep last night, but I cannot complain about how well today went. So be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos from me. Click on the thumbs up button down below if you like this video. Click on the notification bell so you can get notified every time I upload a video. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.